Hi, I'm going to tell you about uh, filling up a liquid nitrogen door so that we can fill the, the detectors over at the infrared beam lines. So this door needs to be filled from one of these larger doers here. To be able to do that, we need to uh, um, get the nitrogen into here. So there's a transfer line that will put it in here. But before we can do any of that, we need to put on our personal safety equipment. So what's needed for this, ex uh, for this procedure is we need to wear gloves, safety glasses, and a face shield because this is a pressurized doer system that we're working with here. So we have our safety glasses, full face shield, and cryogenic gloves. So these are labeled cryogenic. So now that I have all my safety equipment on, we're going to go ahead and start filling this. So I'm going to take off this cap, set this on the ground, and we'll put this transfer line into the doer. It has a little catch here to make sure that it doesn't go all the way sealed in. So now I'm going to reach up to the knob here, and this is where it will turn on the liquid nitrogen flow. So you turn on the liquid flow line, so you can see this one's labeled liquid. Uh, that's where this is always attached to the ALS, so you don't have to know that very much, but uh, uh, the liquid flow side is what you want. You just turn on this valve. It can be a little hard to turn at first. Start turning it on. And what you'll see down here is that gas is starting to flow. And so at first it'll be it's warm gas because all of this is cooling down. And so the gas that's coming up is still fairly warm. I mean, it's cold, you know, to the touch, but of course it's... Uh, uh, it's relatively warm compared to the liquid nitrogen. As this gets fuller and fuller, and as liquid nitrogen starts flowing, you'll see that this gas will kind of get denser and will eventually start to kind of flow over the sides. And so we'll be watching for this uh, as it starts to flow over and eventually kind of overflow just a little bit. That's when we know that it's completely full. Okay. So you can see now it's gotten all, all the way full. It's been about two minutes later. It's starting to overflow onto the ground, so that's when we're really done. So we come back up here. We'll turn this uh, flow knob now completely off. Once it's secured off, then I'll just take this uh, back out of the doer. This is extremely cold, so you want to be sure not to be touching it at all. And then recap your doer for uh, walking it back to the beam line. So now we've filled up the liquid nitrogen doer. The cap is back on, so we can start taking off our safety equipment. The um, uh, be sure to leave this uh, the face shield and the rest of the safety equipment here for the next person that's coming by. Uh, and these doers are kept maintained uh, full uh, by somebody else at the ALS. So if, if you ever find one that's not full, um, you can always call the control room. They can make sure that that uh, gets filled up. If you have any questions at all about how to do this, uh, feel free to ask uh, myself or Hans or, uh, or most anyone else around the ALS.